Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a pressure vessel analysis in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, these vessels are containers that hold uh, fluids and gases under high pressure, such as boilers and storage tanks. So that's why we need, we need to use the uh, simulation tools to analyze uh, these stresses and um, under different loading scenarios. So let's begin. So we are going to create a model, a vessel similar to this one here. Um, since we are only considering the internal pressure analysis of the vessel, so so we don't we don't need to worry about the supports at this time. So we're just going to model the the vessel. So let's begin. So let's create a new part. Let's go to settings, and from here we can uh, select the proper units. In this case, I'm going to be using the IPS system, so let's hit OK. Let's go to sketch, and the we're going to select the front plane as the sketch. First thing I would like to do is just a, a create a center line, infinite length. This will be my reference. So now let's create a horizontal line and let's give it a dimension. This is going to be 10 inches. Uh, next, let's select the center point arc. You can do this on different ways. I'll, I'll show you both. So select the center of the arc and then the side and then you can just close the gap right here the other way is just select the circle select the center select that point and then you will have to trim the the lines that you don't need so in this case we're just going to keep the first one uh, let's make sure this is Four, the radius is four. So that means that the distance from here to here is also four. So this would be uh, four right there. So once we have that, we can use the um, surface. Let's go to surface and then revolve uh, surface. As you can see, uh, is it's being revolved up around the the axis that i created so and then in this case i'm just gonna make this 90 degrees because uh the reason i'm doing this is, is because i'm gonna be using the symmetry feature in the simulation um section so the the time it takes to simulate all the uh the analysis is much less. So let's hit OK. So once we have uh, this, uh, let's go to the um, the actual simulation. If you don't have the simulation tab, you click on the settings right here and then add ins and make sure you have the simulation uh, checked and hit OK. So simulation, new study, and uh, static. Can rename this as pressure vessel. Let's hit OK. So from here we can um, we can right click on the part and then edit definition, and we are going to give it a thickness to the to the vessel. So because right now it's just a surface, so let's provide a thickness. According to the problem, this is a quarter of an inch. And then let's go right here. So we want the um, thickness to go inwards, such as that. So we're going to see. If you want to go the other way, you can select that one. But for this problem, let's select the inwards. Let's hit OK. Let's apply a uh, material. 
very important that you apply a material, otherwise the simulation is not gonna go through. So aluminum 1060 alloy, apply and close. So now let's work on the boundary conditions. Uh, let's go to fixtures, fixed geometry. Let's go to advance and right here, select symmetry. So this is going to create the full uh, vessel that we intend to do. So let's select all the edges. As you can see, um, the vessel is being created. Make sure you select all the edges, otherwise um, it won't work. So. So after that we can um, we can hit OK. Let's go to uh, external loads and select the pressure. The units are going to be in psi, and the pressure on on the internal pressure will be uh, 774. And we can select the uh, the inside faces. Uh, for the pressure. Once you do that, we can hit OK. And the last step on this one here is to create a mesh. We can either uh, mesh and run, or you can um, create a mesh with your uh, preferred settings. Just keep in mind the that the uh, finer the mesh, the longer it's going to take to uh, to run the simulation for. In this case, I'm just going to keep it uh, with a default value and then hit OK. So once I'm happy with that, um, I can just run the study. So now that I have, that I have the um, simulation completed, we can, um, we can start um, interpreting the results. So there are two types of uh, stresses that we are interested when analyzing the vessel under pressure. And those are the hoop and the longitudinal stresses. So for the hoop, otherwise um, also known as tangential, we can, we can um, find that information. Uh, if you can right click on results, Define stress plot. And the, uh, the hoop stress will be the first principal stress. Let's change the units to uh, PSI. And the um, score chart options, I like to make this flooring and zero decimal places. And um, let's hit OK. So this would be the first uh, principal stress, and this is the uh, the hoop stress. So as you can see, um, the the hoop stress, the maximum value is around twelve thousand here, based on the legend. You can confirm this by going to plot and probe, and you can click anywhere on the on the vessel, and you can see the value here is twelve thousand three hundred three sixty one. Thousand. Um, another another thing that you can um, do to check that this is actually a hoop uh, tangential stress is uh, double click on the first principle stress and then under advanced options click on show as vector plot. Let's hit OK. So if you zoom in, you can you can see the direction of the uh, of the uh, stresses. So these are tangential. So that's how you can confirm that that's the uh, hoop stress. You can um, right click and vector plot options. You can increase the value from 200 to 500, so you can better visualize the uh, direction. The next uh, Stress, as I mentioned before, that we are that we need to uh, calculate is the longitudinal stress, and that will be the 
second principle stress. So let's right click, define stress plot. From here, let's select the uh, second principle stress, change the units to PSI. Let's go to chart options, flooring, zero decimal places, and hit OK. So from here, you can tell that the, the value is around five and 6,000. If you're interested in a particular location, you can prove and hit a, select the location that you're interested. So in this case, it's around 6,000. And uh, let's hit OK. So now let's do the same thing as we did for the first principle stress. Let's go to um, let's go to advance and show as a vector plot. And in this case, you'll see that these are uh, longitudinal stresses based on the direction of the uh, vectors. So let's go to vector options. Same thing. We can increase the number so you can see better the direction um, and that's pretty much how you um, you will calculate those values you can um, you can animate the uh, the vessel how it's gonna behave under those uh, loading conditions um, you can reduce the uh, speed so you can see how um, it's going to react. Um, the last thing I want to show you is the, uh, is the hand calculation. So as you can see, the uh, tangential stress um, came up to be um, around 12,000 PSI, and the longitudinal stress, um, 5,800 PSI. And those two values are um, within an acceptable, acceptable range compared to the uh, simulated value, values in, in SOLIDWORKS. And, um, and this is how uh, you perform a uh, pressure vessel analysis. I hope you um, enjoyed the, the video and thank you for watching.